click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add an indent in Excel. Have you ever noticed that the numbers in Excel are always aligned to the right? And text strings are always aligned on the left? Also, did you notice that the cell contents always stick to the cell borders? But in some cases, you may want to change that. For example, you're preparing a financial report and you want all the subtotals of the category to start a few pixels away from the cell border. This is called indentation and it helps in presenting your data better. It reduces clutter in your spreadsheet and makes it easier for the user to view and interpret the data. In this guide, I'll show you how to quickly indent in Excel. To start, how to indent in Excel using the Excel ribbon. The Excel ribbon has a ready-made button to apply indents to your cells in Excel. To use this, just follow these steps. First, select the range of cells where you want to apply the indentation. In the Home tab, inside the Alignment group, click on the Increase Indent icon. This will apply an indent of three spaces to all the cell contents from the left margin. If there are multiple lines in these cells, then each one of them will be indented by three spaces from the cell margin. Keep clicking on the Increase Indent button will increase the indent by three spaces. To decrease the indent already present in a cell, click on the Decrease Indent icon. It will decrease the indent by three spaces. In some cases, you may want to apply different indents to each line in a cell. As we just saw, the built-in indent option in the Excel ribbon cannot do that. But there is still a way to accomplish this in Excel. All you need to do is just add them manually for each line. You can do this by following these steps. Double click on the cell where you want to apply an indentation. You can add a line break using Alt plus Enter where you want to add an indent. Go to the beginning of the line where you want to add the indent, and then manually press space as many times as you want the indent size to be. Repeat the same process for all the lines you want to indent individually. Although this is not a perfect technique, this workaround still gets the job done. You can use it when you really need it. Or you may want to know what is the keyboard shortcut to indent in Excel. You can quickly add indents to your cells using these keyboard shortcuts. Highlight the cells you want to indent and use these shortcuts. For right indent, Alt H6. For left indent, Alt H5. This will immediately apply the standard indent of three spaces to the selected line of text. Well, that's all folks. We have seen all the different methods to indent in Excel. If you have any questions about this or any other Excel feature, please let us know in the comments section. We're always happy to help. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.